remove the meat from the bone, and it goes back in with the vegetables. And then you put more stock in, and you cook it a little bit more. Oh, that looked good. Look. Bun's funny. Yum. Look at the backbone. <laughs> ah, the backbone! Hmm. This rabbit for about a minute. Oh. Okay. Want me to stop? Yes, you yeah, may stop now. Bon appetit. Mm -hmm. I stay out, but you know what? Gotta stay home and cook rabbits. Seaplanes are fun. That's all the meat I got out, and that's the bones. I still swear there's a leg missing. Now it says you can add more stock, and the vegetables. I'm telling you. Rock Alice never ever had rabbit and swore she would never ever eat it. This is really good. Hey, carrots and turnips. And this child's favorite. And put it back in the oven. Let me see. Let me make sure here. Remove from oven, take out any fine bones and other vegetables, cook for a further 40 minutes, topping with more stock. Remove from the oven, place rabbit on your tray, mix the flour, cold water, slurry, stew, cook, stir, add rabbit, and reheat. Okay, gotcha. I'm supposed to add the rabbit to, this, to the meat, to the vegetables, so, and then cook it. So, just so you know, I am following directions. Five minutes late, but I'm following them. And now... The piece, the resistance. Ta da! Rabbit stew! That's my like mom paw kettle mate. I'm waiting for the dang taters to boil. Then I'll be done. So, Darby. Ready for this experience? It's not an experience. It's not. It is. It's a culinary experience. Never had rabbit. That tastes like chicken. No, everything is an experience. That's stupid. No, have you ever? Day before? No, it's David.